I got this question from uh, one of our students. Okay, so the question is like this. Uh, the triangle FGH, this is triangle FGH, is a part of a frame of a climbing net. Okay, so that's not that important. So what's important? Okay, HF is 4.4. So this is, they have given you 4.4 here. And HG is 6.2 here. So 6.2 here. Calculate the, first question is calculate the length of the side of the frame FG. Say, let us say this is X. Or uh, let me say this is say A. Okay, suppose we want to find. So in a right angle triangle, so let me draw the right angle triangle. This is the Pythagoras theorem. Uh, I can draw this triangle, suppose. Say this is the right angle triangle. And if I tip this over, oops, it uh, looks like this, okay? Similar to, I'm trying to make this. So this is a right angle triangle. So this is a right angle. Okay, now this is called the, the side opposite to the right angle is called the hypotenuse. I'm going over the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse, that is a C. You can name it any letter. So this is C. These are called the short sides. A and B are the, sorry, A and A and B are the short sides. So the Pythagoras theorem, P, Y, T, H, A, G, O, R, A, S. Pythagoras said that there's a relation between these three measures. Okay, so this is a number, A is a number, B is a number, and C is a number. He said A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. You should be knowing this. So we're going to use this to figure out uh, this FG, which is A. So A is what you want to find. So this is, say, let me call this B. And this is the hypotenuse. This is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is a side opposite to the right angle. The side opposite to the right angle is the hypotenuse. So let me write the Pythagoras theorem. I can say A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So it's good practice, you have to have a good practice, and this is one of the practice, write what you know. So this is what you know, this is Pythagoras theorem, you should know this. What else do you know? We know, we want to find A, that is my question mark. B is 4.4, and C is, oh sorry, this is C, so let me call this C. No. And C is 6.2. So I'm going to substitute this back into this equation. So I can write, I don't know A, so I'll write A squared plus 4.4 squared is equal to 6.2 squared, just like that. Now I want to make A squared the subject, so let me use the calculator. So A squared plus, what is 4.4 squared? So this is my calculator, so I'll go 4.4 squared, just like that, which is 19.36. So I'll write plus 19.36 is equal to, I don't know what is 6.2 squared, so I'll go 6.2 squared. Oops, 6.2 squared. This is the school bell for lunchtime, so it's 1.30 now, so it's lunchtime. So 6.2 <laughs> squared is 38.44. So let me write 38.44. Now you have to think logically. I want to get rid of this 19.6. So I want to take away 19.6 from one side. So this is the next step. A, I'll change color. Next step is very crucial. So let me use brown. So can I say A squared plus? I want to get rid of this 19.6, 19.36. So how can I get rid of that? I want I'll do the opposite. I'm taking away 19.36 from this side. So you have to do the same thing on the other side, 38.44 minus 19.36. So what we're doing is we're, we're taking away 19.36 from this side. So you have to do the same thing on the other side. 
So what's the neat thing that's happening here? I can say this and this gets cancelled. So you're left with only a squared on the left hand side. So I can say a squared is this minus this. Again, let me use the calculator. So this is 38.44 minus 19.36. It will go through the process, okay, which is 19.08, which is 19.08. Okay, now I want to get rid of the square. Okay, now if you want to get rid of the square, you have to do the opposite operation of squaring. The opposite, so let me write this here. The opposite of square of square is square root. Is square and square root are opposite of each other, or in other words, they cancel each other out. So I'm going to do square root of a squared on this side. So I have to find the square root of 19.8 on the other side. So in, when you solve an equation, if you go through this process, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So now I can say A is square root of 19.08. Okay, so I'll use again the calculator. So I'll go shift square root of 19.08 which is 4.37 in two decimal point, 4.368. You can round up. If you want to write in two decimal places, it is 4.37. So you can say A is 4.37. What's the unit here? It's a good practice to write the unit. So this is, the question is in one decimal place. So I would write this in one decimal place. So, if you want to round this in one decimal place, it is 4.4 because the question is in 1 dp. So your answer should also be in 1 dp. So the answer we got is 4.36. So if you look at the second decimal place, it is 6. You have to round the first decimal place by 1. So I can say A is 4.4 meters. 4.4 meters, write the unit, always write the unit, which is in one decimal point. I would like you to do this question yourself, and I'll come back and do this question. The question is, calculate the angle of the frame, make the frame makes with the ground at FGH, your angle FGH. So this is what they want you to find. Next question, so this is X, we want to find X. I'll come back and do in the next video. See you in the next video.